Thank you for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Trap. Enjoy the rest of the concert. In my first impression review, I said it was probably the worst movie I've seen this summer. And I'm pretty much saying this is the worst movie I've seen this summer. Uh, I'll stand by that. You know, M. Night has like two levels. He's got like decent films and then he's got really bad ones. And now Trap doesn't really fall in the really bad ones. It's not good, but it's not on that level of M. Night movies that we will remember and like. It's just so contrived. It's let me let me kind of count the ways here. So M. Night really wants you to have some type of suspension of disbelief. There, there are things that just, for me, took me out of it. I mean, bless my wife's heart. When my daughter, oldest daughter was seven, she, my wife took her to see Jojo Siwa. And even that one was at night. So who has a stadium show in the middle of the afternoon? I've never been to a stadium show in the middle of the afternoon. Sorry. All right, that's a nitpicky. But when you go to a merch table, do you see these people that are like friendly and want to talk or even take some time to talk to you about what's happening in the stadium? You know, unless it's the band giving out the merch and they're not going to talk to you. It's very rare, especially on a busy concert like this apparently is. And apparently people love to eat at the show. There is so many people consuming food in the middle of the concert. And it felt like this concert was like a three hour Taylor Swift concert because he was just out roaming around, having a good time. In fact, he was on the lower level while he was kept, kept on getting bombarded by a lady who was living, who was sitting in the balconies. I mean, stadium dynamics, I don't know. And in fact, you walk down the aisle and you're like, oh, hey, oh, you're the singer's uh, uncle. Huh, what, what a coincidence. So those are the little things, right? But then you think about the story itself. Everything about it was so contrived. I mean, this guy Cooper could have won the lottery in every way. <laughs> so he is literally, you know, uh, befriending people and this, the merch guy's gonna take him. Why not? The whole stadium's locked down. Why not? Let's just go get, pick up the merch in the employee area. It seems perfectly normal, doesn't it? You need something. Oh, it's miraculously in this pocket that I didn't expect it to be there. You know, so many little things that got out. He got out of things so easy and it felt like, oh, come on. <laughs> Everything. This guy is a magician when it comes to luck. But, you know, the one thing that it really bothered me the most was the script. The dialogue was written so poorly. And honestly, Josh Hartnett is the one that carried this film. As the movie goes on it, and it unravels, it just becomes almost worse <laughs> and worse and worse. We're gonna sit down at the kitchen table and we're just gonna fill in all the loopholes and, and all the little things that didn't make any sense. So let's do that. But let's call it really what it is. This is a showcase for M. Knight's daughter, Zaleika. Zaleika is a talented singer. Unfortunately, due to the script, bad direction maybe, I don't know, but Zaleika really had a hard time convincing us that she was in danger or whatever. There was a moment where she's trying to get out of a situation and it just it's it's cringe worthy and and this is an unpopular opinion i don't i'm not a big i don't care about nepotism good for them <laughs> and you know kudos to m knight for trying to support his daughters who you know one did a movie earlier this summer watchers not great but it was supportive um this was a film to showcase Zuleika with her singing and uh, acting, and good for him. Good for, for good for the family. You know what? You know nepotism in, in the industry is you know 
it is what it is. You got Maya Hawk, you have Jamie Lee Cur- Curtis, uh, Robert Downey Jr., and the list goes on and on because nepotism uh, is through contacts, but talent is what carries that person. So if they're talented and they contribute, good for them. Um, and I'm not saying that Zuleika is not talented because she is. Um, she's a talented singer. It's just that she was put in this situation, a really tough situation, to carry something that was very difficult at her level, of maybe acting ability. But again, I'm not really going to blame her. I'm going to blame the direction and the dialogue that she had to say as being poor. So it was a lose-lose situation for Suleika. The only problem I had with the film audience was that I had a guy who brought in his own beers. He snuck them in, and he got so bored that he wanted to look at his phone for the rest of it. So audience members, do better. Do better. But other than that, Trap, overall, contrived and bad dialogue just hinders everything. I don't know how this guy got out of certain situations. It, it just, hey, let's cut away to a pile of t-shirts. And voila! Either way, that's my opinion. I'd love to know if I'm overreacting or what your thoughts on trap or nepotism or Seleka or anything else for that matter. Um, yeah. <laughs> what were the things that bothered you about trap? All right. So please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. How are you all doing? You having fun? Woo!